So you want to get high on weed stocks, eh? Say no to drugs, kids. In this video, I'm going to be going over why I am personally not investing in the marijuana industry. Hello and welcome to the video. My name is Brandon uh, and if you guys are watching this, um, it's likely that you are either currently investing in weed stocks or maybe you're thinking about getting into weed stocks. Um, so I just want to go over, you know, my thoughts, my opinions on this industry as a whole. And to be honest, uh, let you know why I think it may not be the best place to invest your money right now. Now, I know that this video may get a little bit of backlash uh, because there are a ton of people that are making really good money in this space um, over the past couple years. And there are a lot of people that are very passionate about this whole weed movement, right? Um, and that's completely understandable. I'm not here to argue that weed is bad and that it shouldn't be legalized, man. Of course not. Um, if alcohol is legal, you know, why the hell is weed not? Uh, you know, ex-president Obama has been saying this for years now, right? The guy's been token up since college. So it's good to see that as a nation, and I say nation, right? US and Canada, uh, you know, more and more states, uh, you know, weed is becoming legal and obviously uh, Canada is making a big push towards legalization. Um, it's pretty apparent that we're taking steps in the right direction. And that reason right there is of course why we've been seeing such a big increase in these prices over the past little while. Um, it's a speculation, right? It's a speculation that, you know, once everything goes through and this whole legalizing thing is, you know, behind us and once, you know, marijuana becomes well adopted, I mean, this is going to be a legitimate money making field. And, you know, if you are, you know, currently into weed stocks, I'm almost positive that's the mindset that you have. Whenever you have an industry that's this young and, you know, budding, um, you know, there's absolutely a lot of potential here, right? Let's just get that out there. Um, however, I do think that at this current point in time, um, the industry is still overvalued. And I say that even after seeing, you know, I think it was a 30% uh, decline in the industry like last week, it was a pretty hectic week. And maybe you're thinking to yourself, dude, this guy must be crazy. Like how can this be overvalued if things are just getting started, right? If this is just the beginning of something so huge, how can things be overvalued, you know, when there's this much potential going forward? Well. Um, believe it or not, I actually see a lot of striking similarities between the weed industry and then cryptocurrency. With both of these fields, we're seeing, you know, a ton of hype surrounding them, right? Uh, a lot of new money flowing in and, you know, driving up these prices. Uh, but like, like I said, a lot of long-term potential. Um, I absolutely believe that, you know, at some point in the future, these industries are, are both going to be part of our, you know, daily lives. Um, you know, but I have a lot of, you know, personal friends who are, you know, first time investors. They never invested before and they're, you know, hopping into these uh, marijuana stocks, right? Uh, I like to think of this as, you know, th their gateway investment. And that, of course, is because we've seen, you know, 500% gains over the past year. Uh, it's human nature to want to, you know, take part in that. Uh, but typically, you know, by the time you start hearing about these huge gains in the news and from your friends, you know, that's often the time that you should start to be a little, a little bit wary about it, you know, you proceed with caution. And I want to show you guys here a couple numbers um, as to why I say this, as to why I think this industry is overvalued. Um, I actually heard this, you know, in a podcast uh, a couple weeks ago uh, from the Motley Fool podcast. And, you know, maybe it'll just kind of shift your point of view if it's something you haven't seen. Uh, so let's take a look at uh, some of those numbers. So this to me is very interesting, all right? We can have a look here at the top three marijuana stocks. That of course being uh, CGC, right? Canopy Growth, uh, Aurora, and then Afria. Now, those three stocks have a combined market cap of about $14 billion. In other words, you know, that's how much money is currently invested in these stocks. Now, we can have a look at their revenues, right? So how much are these companies actually selling? Um, we can look here at a trailing 12 month number. So basically over the past year, these three companies combined, their revenues are just over $100 million. So 14 billion in market cap, 100 million in revenues. And you know, we can actually look you know, at the income for these companies, it's not a whole lot better. So to reiterate that here, uh, for these three companies, we have a market cap of $14 billion and we have revenues of $100 million. Now, to me, that's a pretty big discrepancy. 
okay? And I'm not trying to say that, you know, market cap should equal revenues, uh, that's not the case, but that is a pretty big difference, all right? That's a lot of money uh, to be invested in companies that aren't yet making a whole bunch of money for themselves. Now, we've seen cases like this that have worked out very successfully. Uh, we, of course, have Amazon, right? This company wasn't profitable for many years. Um, or another great example is Tesla. You know, Tesla, they're not really making a bunch of money, um, but there's a lot of hope going forward. And the stock price is actually doing, you know, very well. And that is completely understandable when we factor in that the stock market is a forward projecting vehicle, right? Uh, the prices that we are seeing today are based on, you know, the potential for the companies to make profits, you know, years down the road, right? It, it's priced in. And again, I do see good long-term prospects for the weed industry, uh, but for companies that aren't really making any money, uh, you know, I think a $14 billion market cap is a little bit rich. Now stick with me because that's not my main concern. All right. You know, on top of that, uh, the real issue for me is this. Let me bring up a chart of the S and P 500. And as we can see, we are in the ninth year of a very successful bull run. And I think it's fair to say, I think we can all agree that at some point in the foreseeable future, we're kind of due for a pullback, right? We're kind of due for a correction or a crash, you know, call it what you want it. But, you know, over the next, let's just say over the next couple years, it's likely that we will see, you know, some sort of reversal in this trend, right? We'll enter into a bear market. Now, typically what happens when the stock market is crashing and everyone's selling and freaking out, losing their minds, typically the more volatile stocks will get hit harder, right? And I say typically there, right? This is not always the case, but, but typically, I mean, let's think about it. You have a company like Canopy Growth, which over the past year has, you know, lost $28 million, or you have a company like Procter & Gamble, which, you know, even in the midst of a recession, they're still selling, you know, detergent and toilet paper. Yeah, they have a very consistent stream of revenue. Which stock, you know, logically would get hit harder? If I were guessing, I'd probably go with the more volatile company, right? The company that's not really making any money. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. Um, and I'm not trying to predict anything here, but sometimes you gotta, you know, take in all the factors and make, you know, an educated guess. Um, and I think it's fair to say that, you know, at some point in the near future, you know, we will see a correction or a pullback. And in a time like that, um, I think it's fair to say that a company that's, you know, surrounded by a ton of hype, a company that's not really making a bunch of money, they would likely get hit the hardest. And that's why I think that at this point in time, you know, investing in the marijuana industry may not be the best idea. In an ideal scenario, I mean, we could fast forward, let's say a year from now, and we can imagine, you know, the, the, the stock market or the, the broader market is down, you know, 20 or 30%. To me, this would be a time where I wanna, you know, scoop in and grab my shares, right? Get my exposure to this uh, industry. Because like I said, I do see a very good growth prospects going forward, but you know, I'd rather get in then than you know jumping into a position now with all these you know hype driven, you know, highly speculative prices. Now, of course, this is strictly my opinion. Uh, it's not saying that it's right, I'm not saying that it's wrong. Um, and you know, this is just my current thought process at the moment. So, you know, feel free to agree uh, or disagree. And you know, there, there's no doubt that if you want to invest over the short term, uh, which I wouldn't recommend in the first place. But if you are looking, you know, over the short term, you know, you can absolutely make some good money uh, in the marijuana space. Just keep in mind that, you know, even when the, the long term prospects for an industry look very good, you know, there are still a ton of variables that come into play. Uh, with an investment of this risk level, as I'm sure you all know, um, you know, could head south you know, very quickly. So to finish off this video, I'll be uh, very blunt with you guys. You know, if you want to invest in weed stocks, uh, just be careful or you very well may end up getting smoked. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, that brings us to the end of the video. Um, if you enjoyed the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about investing and the stock market, uh, you can subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them below. I'd be happy to hear your opinions. Uh, I know there's a lot of mixed opinions on this field. So I'd be happy to hear what you guys are thinking. Um, and uh, like I said, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.